My name is Paul Ballard. I'm the CEO and Chief Investment Officer of the Texas Treasury Safekeeping Trust Company. We're a wholly owned subsidiary of the State Controller's Office and we invest money that is uh, uh, basically put under the purview of the State Controller. And uh, we're an investment management organization. Uh, we oversee about $50 billion of uh, state and local government uh, uh, financial assets. And they include uh, the state treasury pool, which is about right now about a $29 billion fund. Uh, it's the state's operating fund and some other agency uh, investments in there as well. We oversee text pool and text pool prime that are local government investment pools. Uh, it's where cities and school districts and municipalities and counties keep operating dollars. That's more like a large couple of money market funds. And then we oversee about $3 billion. We manage about $3 billion in endowment money that's managed entirely differently than the first two pools. So our role is really to preserve and grow state financial resources. And the treasury pool is managed with a, everything's managed fairly conservatively. Uh, the treasury pool especially, uh, the marching orders there are safety, liquidity, yield, SLY, S-L-Y, in that order. So number one priority is safety, don't lose money. Number two is liquidity, have money available when it's needed by the state. And then the third priority is yield. And right now the treasury pool is yielding about 51 basis points, 0.51 percent, which, you know, in, in nominal absolute returns sounds fairly low. But compared to money funds that are paying, you know, nothing to five basis points, it's pretty darn good. Our mission is to grow the funds such, such that the purchasing power is protected over the long run. So, so that 100 years from now, Texans are receiving the same inflation-adjusted benefit, real purchasing power, as citizens today. Historically, the Treasury pool has generated as much as seven or eight hundred million dollars annually in revenue when rates were more normalized. And at current, the current level of interest rates, the, the, uh, gener the revenue being generated by the, uh, the Treasury pool is closer to 200, say 200 million dollars. So low interest rates stimulates the economy, but it also costs the state some revenue.